Hey there gang, Kawaii50 here, and with the pending game of the year potential of this game, I had to check this out myself, and now I need to share it all with you. Yes, we are playing Balatro today. I don't know who any of those people are. Now I know what you're thinking, stop, freeze frame, record scratch, this is an indie game that came out of nowhere, so what is Balatro, and why should I care? Why should I consider this thing fun? Well, initially... Let me tell you up front, Palatro is poker, kind of. Now, I know you're already potentially shrugging and turning away from a video. It sounds like something maybe your dad is desperately playing in the background as he tries to win some money to find a way out of his situation and avoid raising you. I get it. I understand. But Balatro is so much more than that. So you see, in Balatro, you're doing your regular poker type shenanigans. Got it but you have a bunch of other potential cards that end up affecting how your poker hands are going to play. You have the potential to upgrade your entire score of various hands through all these fancy world cards, different planets. You have the ability to upgrade specific cards in your deck with tarot cards, because yes, not only is the arcana by the means through which all is revealed, but the arcana is also the means by which my nine of diamonds becomes infinitely more powerful. And also you have, of course, the happy little funny guy that is the tag guy for Bellatro, the Joker. And you can hold up to five different Jokers, I know, so, so many, and they will grant big altering effects throughout your entire run, such as, I don't know, for example, making every single 10 and 4 you play grant you a ton of different point bonuses. So it is poker with extra steps, but it's presented in such a way where it's fun, it's addicting, and you keep coming back for one more run because a lot of these bonuses will stay in subsequent games of poker. So let's go ahead and let's play some poker and enjoy Bellatro. All right, let's go ahead and play some. Did I mention there were sp there were other decks? Because yeah, there, there are definitely other decks that you can play. We're gonna go with the yellow deck for extra money so I can show you some fancy stuff. Let's start a new run. Okay, perfect. Let's start our small blind. There's uh, two levels you can play through as well as a big boss. You can skip the blinds too, but let me let me just go ahead and uh, let's let's actually play this blind. Oh look, poker stuff. Uh, oh look at that! Look at that! We immediately get two pair. Let's play that hand. Beautiful, funny numbers. And oh, oh man, I I hid my uh, I I've hid my score. I hid my score. Why am I infinitely terrible at everything I do? Let's just go ahead and move this over here. Yeah, this is basically this is basically gonna be a better spot for me right now. As you can see, I need three hundred to win. Uh, Ace, King, Queen. We need a Jack. So let's go ahead and discard our hand here. Can I get a Jack? Mmm. God hates me, but it's okay. King, King, nine, nine. Even more two pairs with a tasty multiplier. And three of a kind to boot. Look at that. Beautiful hand. Beautiful hand. Now, I know you're just straight up seeing poker on the screen. It maybe doesn't necessarily look that engaging. But by the time we get to the shop, you're going to see where things are going to start to evolve. So we've made a nice little fat stack of cash. And we've got $20 to play with. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, the Earth card. Level up your full house. Uh, two plus two multiplier and plus twenty five chips. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's use that immediately. So now, whenever we get a full house, extra, extra from getting that full house. Uh, now we've got a Joker. Earn five dollars if three or more face cards are discarded at the same time. I have not had this yet, so let's buy it. And then we got ten bucks to play with. Let's let's do the gotcha. We like rolling the gotcha here, don't we? Uh, we're going to go ahead and see what jokers we get from our buffoon pack. Okay, what's this? A bank card? Go up to negative $20 in debt? Or play cards with the club suit? Give plus three molt when scored. Well, I haven't discovered uh, the jokers card. <laughs> of course, that pops up right after I say gotcha. So let's go ahead and grab the card. And we're also going to get a standard pack here. Because you know what? Regular cards exist here. Oh, no. 
Why do these look different? A lucky card that grants us extra chances. I can just get another three of clubs in my deck. Breaking the sacred 52 card deck rule. I can get some special bonuses from my five of spades here or just extra chips from that. Or the stone card, which just grants me 50 chips and does nothing else. I'm feeling lucky, so let's grab that six of hearts. Now we've got 53 cards in our deck. Literally no sense. Literally no sense. Okay, so we need to discard. Ah, oh, we can't discard three or more face cards right now. So again, let's go ahead and play two pair. Solid amount of money there. Oh. Yeah, we'll play that as well. Was hoping for something I wouldn't need to play, but three of a kind's pretty good. Now I'll have you all know that I am a. Uh, I am clearly fairly decent at poker. Uh, I am currently uh, up a net of $40, which is more than many people can say, and one whole steak and shake meal that the casino ended up paying for because of how well I played. So therefore I am a poker genius, a poker master. There's absolutely no way we will lose in any way, shape, or form here. Look at that, look at that. It's a beautiful two pair. And there we go. Four funny number pushing us forward back to the shop. Now remember, we can now go up to $20 in debt. So let's just go absolutely crazy. Uh, Joker egg gains $3 of sell value at the end of the round. We'll buy that to eventually sell it. Jupiter level up the flush. Sure. Why not? I don't think I've ever gotten a flush in this game, but we might as well go ahead and level that up. And ooh, the Arcana pack. She's up to a t one of three tarot cards to use immediately. Let's buy that because you haven't seen a tarot card yet. Okay, we got the Lovers, makes one card a wild card, which means it's any suit. The Devil, $3 if this card's in your hand at the end of the round, and uh, gives the total sell value of all current Jokers. Mm, that would be nice. But I think we're just gonna enhance a card into a gold card, and we'll uh, we'll go with this King of Spades here. Yeah, so now we have a gold King of Spades. That's even better, and we can continue going even even deeper into debt. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna buy this uh, Celestial Pack here. And which of these do I have? A uh, high card. I don't want to do that. I'm getting a lot of, uh, we've been getting a lot of two pairs, so we're gonna get Uranus. All heart cards are debuffed. Now that means I don't get any chips from that stuff. Uh, okay. Mm, gosh. We're gonna discard here. Mmm, I was so close. It's okay. It's okay. I was trying to get it straight. Sometimes you gotta pay da play dangerously like that, cause you gotta get uh, you gotta get them chippies. We don't have anything that makes super crazy multipliers as of yet. Six, seven, eight, and oh, we need a nine. Ah, uh, six, seven, eight, ah, jeez. Oh no. This is already looking very not good. But don't worry, we still got two more hands we can play. Eight, seven, six, three of a kind. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yes, I'll take three of a kind. Even if they're only threes, that's still better than nothing. Okay, can we score enough to get what we need here? I'm going to just discard all of these. This is all garbage. Okay, ooh, ace, ace, queen, queen. Good enough. Now you can only play a hand of five. But ace, ace, queen, queen is more than good enough to get us there. Now our egg is even more powerful. And we beat the boss and are up to the next ante. We don't have to deal with any more of this garbage. Uh, play cards with even rank grants extra multipliers and scored. Retrigger all card held in hand abilities. Ghost cards. Okay, I'd definitely go in for ghost cards. Now I haven't seen a spectral card yet, which is why I didn't mention it in the intro. So this is gonna be fun. 
Uh, adds a blue seal to the one card in your hand. Add foil, holographic, or polychrome to one affected card in the hand. Well, we're we're going to go ahead and up our ace right here. Give it a beautiful aura. Look at that. Can you imagine if you had, like, crazy fancy foil cards in your own actual poker decks? How beautiful would that be? Since we can go up to $20 in debt, I'm going to go ahead and level up uh, the straight flush. Now that's worth 140 points base with a 12 times multiplier. Beautiful. Ooh, and look at that. Immediately, three of a kind with our lucky card. Now, is it going to pop? See, four times multiplier, 20 times multiplier. <laughs> Look at it. We already cleared it. Just, that's that's the beauty. That's the beauty of Bellatro. That's what keeps you hooked. Is So you get crazy moments like this where you just get 3,000 chips from playing three of a kind. Okay, uh, each played spade gives extra boost when scored or um, times 25 for each blind skipped. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and... Um, we're going to get the Jumbo Celestial Pack. Level up our deck yet again. We've got a lot of three of a kind, so we're going to go ahead and snag Venus. Sometimes you just got to feel that. You just got to feel the luck that lurks deep within Bellatro. I know we're negative $19, but we're technically doing fine. All right. Oh, look at that. Yet again, three, four, five, full house. Now, we didn't get a trigger off of that, but because these are even cards, easy clear, easy clear. Our egg is worth even more money. We're probably going to sell it the next time we see a super cool joker we like. So yeah, we can level up a pair, or we can increase the rank of up to two selected cards by one. Now, increasing rank is just going to make them a bigger number. So we're going to want to make sure that we are um, keeping our eye on specific numbers. So we'll hold on to that for now. We'll let that sit over there. Let's sit over there and we'll, we'll upgrade our pairs. All face cards are drawn face down fancy. So we're definitely going to be uh, discarding some of these. Ooh, okay. Ace, ace, seven, seven, play. Already, that hasn't really mattered that much. Okay, oh, these are all face cards. So we're gonna we're gonna just discard all of these. I ain't worried about those. We're gonna go with sixes and fours. And you know what? We're gonna use our uh strength here. And we're gonna level up our three to a four. And that is going to give us, through the magic of cheating, a four. <laughs> <laughs> and we passed that boss like it was absolutely nothing <laughs> oh my god is this why people develop a gambling addiction i don't expect regular poker to be uh be like this at first hand of rounds a single six destroyed and create a special card and said played face cards give plus 30 chips Give me that. And then we're gonna sell the egg, cash out on the egg, and we're gonna go ahead and snag some more cards. An eight, a two, and a five. We'll take the eight. Bigger number always good. And then we'll we'll mess with this uh this six thing and get some planet cards. Being able to go into debt is great. Don't don't actually quote me on that. That's not actually a real thing that I mean. Don't go into debt. Alright, we're immediately in here. Look at this. Look at this. Pair of sixes. Mm, we got King Queen Jack though. So I'm gonna go ahead and play dangerously here. Uh hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and play dangerously again, and you're all gonna hate me for it. Yeah, that was a terrible decision. Why do I make these decisions? One, two Oh, you you all doubted me! You all doubted me!
You all doubted me, but the massive amount of discard clearly worked in our favor. That was not luck in the slightest. That was a calculated play. Truly the most calculated play of our time. Now it's like I earned $5 for each discarded eight or level up the flush. We'll level up the flush. Go to Jupiter, get more stupider like me. I definitely be the stupider. Okay, what we got here? Creates up to two random planet cards. Uh, one card becomes a gold card. Destroy two selected cards. Create up to two random tarot cards. Enhance two of the selected cards to bonus cards that give you extra chips. Well, we're gonna we're gonna put our faith in our jacks here. And they are now more beautifuler. Okay, and we can we can go even deeper into debt. We can go even deeper into debt. We're gonna make our full house even better. Cause that's what's been carrying us. Oh, and we can pick another one too. Let's go ahead, let's level up straight. Even though I think I've been fishing for straights, I'm going absolutely nothing. Okay, so we're near, oh, you all doubted me. You all doubted me for sinking it in the full house. I bet you didn't. Immediate full house, right out of the gate. Yep, you're a lucky, 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 luck boy. And that nets us a cool immediately past the level. See, this is the beauty of these kinds of games. And I play like engine builders, like uh, Wingspan and things like that. But being able to get a nice functioning uh, bit of card that ends up just absolutely decimating your competition is pretty great, is pretty great. Okay, so now we found this fancy joker. Uh, that grants us 30 chips for discarding each remaining card. So we're going to have to go ahead and get rid of something. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my Sixth Sense Joker because it hasn't really done anything for me. And buy the Banner Joker. And then we need more Planet Cards. We need more Planet Cards. Sure, I'll bank on us maybe getting a four of a kind. All right, we have to play five cards every single time on this round. This may be what breaks us. This may be what breaks us. So I'm going to do. So I'm going to discard all this. We're gonna go six, six, eight, eight, and then just deal with losing the nine. Because these are all even, and even Steven's gonna grant us some sick bonuses. And we almost immediately <laughs> cleared the level off of that. Let's discard more. Because we're totally gonna win. Ace, King, Queen, Jack, 10. That's straight. Oh my God, look at it go up. Look at it go up. Look at it go up. Look at the multiplier. An extra five grand. We needed 4K to pass that. We needed 4K to pass that. And we had two additional hands left. It's like just having extra money. Joker, plus three malt for each Joker card I have. Mm, okay, okay. So we're going to sell our faceless Joker. And we're going to buy this Joker. And we're going to continue. We're going to continue buffing up our deck. We're going to have 55 cards in this deck, which is entirely fair. And we'll grab a... S ooh, mm, extra chips. One four chance to destroy this class card. And we're going to take... We're going to take this card because it will trigger our bonuses an additional time. But the Celestial Pack granting us O. Oh, o oh, Celestial Pack. More of my anus. We're already, we're already cooking and these are just common jokers. This is nothing near close to what we could potentially be working with. Face cards get 30 chips. And extra multipliers for every Joker we have easily clears the level. <laughs> With the Joker engine we have going here and the multipliers we've got just sitting, sitting in here. This is a pure rush to my dopamine sensors. Oh God, we're going to get, we're going to get ghost cards. We're going to get ghost cards. Converts all cards to a single random suit. Creates two copies of the one selected card in your hand. Add a blue seal to one card in your hand. Add a polychrome to a random joker. Destroy all other jokers. Well, that would be terrible because we're running this abstract joker guy. So let's instead go ahead and make two copies of our foil ace of clubs here. Now we have truly stacked the deck to the point where we can actually just discard all of this garbage. Roll up in here. 
And then hmm, we can go ace, ace, king, king. Extra 50 for each of our aces. Are we technically cheating? Yes, but the game has given us the means to cheat. And that has led to us passing this level with flying colors. Now, I will say, I've never gotten to anti-8, ever, in playing this game. I'm still fairly new to it. I'm just super excited to share it with all of you. So I am hoping that Bellatro will bless me and allow me to, you know, get to a later level. Now, we could get this Jumbo Celestial card pack, but instead, I'm just going to go ahead and head to the next round. I don't think anything there benefits us. All of our club cards are going to be debuffed, but that is going to be entirely okay. We'll take our bonus from playing even cards, pulling us to almost the 10 grand we need. And then these are all terrible right now, so we're going to discard these. Hmm. And that grants us a full house. Ignore the fact that there's two sixes of hearts there. That's irrelevant. <laughs> and this one with the red seal triggers twice. Which means we get both bonuses from it multiple times. Immediately granting us 11 grand. That hand alone would have cleared our level. Unlock the 10k achievement! Let's go! <laughs> oh man, haven't even gotten that far before ever what is this voucher here plus one card slot available in the shop i'm not sure worried about i'm worried about that if i'm going to be quite honest instead we're going to add more standard cards to our deck Pfft, 50 chips no ranker suit no matter what we're gonna get another ace of clubs ignore the amount of ace of clubs in my deck lots of things are being ignored here at this table We'll upload our four of a kind. Kind of feel it's in our best interest to upgrade everything evenly. So we can have a nice solid spread of cards to play. All right, we got, um, we're going to see if we can fish for a six. Because we have extra sixes. And we did it. Got it. Some people be worried about doing discards, but when you know that you've got extra cards in your deck, it is absolutely worth it to manipulate that as much as possible. Easily grinding us 8k. And now we can do 6677. Gets a nice little two pair. It's just, it's the extra card effects I feel that really, really sell this game. Uh, if we didn't have the ability to buff our extra cards in our standard deck, I feel like they would really take away from uh, what the game is providing us. Look, there's so much we've gone through. There's so much we're cashing out through. And you know what? You know what? We're going to go ahead and get an extra card slot available in each shop. Our overstock voucher has been redeemed. And that's going to add another thing in here. But we've got absolutely nothing we can uh, deal with. So let's go ahead and move on to the next round. Okay. Um, ch -ch -ch, ace, king, queen, and a couple of sevens. We're going to discard all this garbage. And we're going to discard all this garbage. Ace, king, queen, jack, ten. Grants us an immediate straight. I realized this whole time I need to shrink down. Let me shrink really quick. Okay, we shrunk. Gotta at least be able to see all the cards I'm playing, right? We've got one more discard left, so get get all this out of here. Get all this out of here. Ace, king, queen, jack, ten. That is two straights in a row. And this is clearly why I can't go to a casino, because I would just be too powerful. These are the kinds of things I will be doing within the casino. The card I pulled is Exodia, the Forbidden One. Ah, uh, what the? What is this six? Plus six chips, plus four malt. It's a multiplier card. Well, let's go all in on sixes. The fish. Cards drawn face down after each hand played. 
Okay, so you're telling me... I have to make sure I have a truly bombastic initial hand, because if I don't, uh, the game is going to destroy me. Because I won't know what I'll be able to play. So we might as well try to go all out with this full house. I gotta say K, but all of these cards have been uh, drawn face down. So we really just need to play everything we have and hope for the best. And that is just a king high, so our life is a tragedy right now. Oh, geez. So this tells us with the way cards are drawn, our higher cards are going to be over here. So we've just got to hope. Nope. Garbage. Garbage! Trash! Nothing! Literally, our entire run is going to be resting on this completely random gotcha mechanic. Or are we going to be able to make it? Not even close. No way. No way. And that's it. That is our run. The joke is on us, but we got high score, followed by high score. Of course, the fish destroyed us, but if we go to the main menu, we have permanently unlocked a joker to use on every single subsequent run. Doubles all listed probabilities. And that, everyone, is Bellatro. I hope you really enjoyed checking out this run. I really feel like just that thrill of being able to upgrade your deck, much like the thrill of upgrading your characters in Vampire Survivors or any given RPG in the history of man, is part of what has made this game so special. Tack onto that, that is just one man's passion project to make a super cool game for their friends. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I could not be more pleased with this game. If you were interested at all in seeing me play through parts of Bellatro, please go ahead, buy the game from Steam, buy the game from iOS and Android and all that. It is not a lot of money, and you will be supporting a very talented indie developer who is hopefully going to be going on to make yet another game just as cool and engaging as this. Not all games that are nominated for Game of the Year have to be quote-unquote quadruple A crazy super giant experiences. Sometimes they can just be a simple, focused, and fun concept. Anyways gang, that's it for me, Kawaii50. Go ahead and let me know how you feel about Bellatro down in the comment section below. Check out Discord, Patreon, Ko-fi, anything on there. Big thanks to everyone on all those platforms. Thanks to you. For watching the video to the very end i super duper appreciate it and maybe drop a like maybe drop a sub uh, maybe drop any of those things so i'm gonna keep making videos about games probably until the heat death of the universe anyways gang that's it for me kawaii 50 i hope you all have an amazing phenomenal day i'll see you all in the next one